Hello students. Today, the trick which I am going to discuss is concerning mental addition and subtraction. This trick is particularly beneficial for students who are just starting their schooling, say from the age group of five years to the students who are pursuing ninth or tenth standard right now in the age group of fourteen years. So, five to fourteen years students will be greatly benefited by this method of mental mathematics. It is said when you can orally add or subtract numbers, then you will not have any problems in ca uh, calculating the multiplication problems and uh, the division problems also. So, you need to have a very strong base of mental addition and mental subtraction. So, I am going to discuss today some of the basic rules of mental maths through which you can add and subtract within your mind and with 100% accuracy. So, in this series, the first method which I am going to discuss is addition from left to right. Now, you must be wondering that whenever we add something, say 47 and 31, we add from this side, from the right side. Why am I saying that addition is to be carried out in mind from left to right? So, to demonstrate this addition from left to right, I will take one example of say a two digit, two, two digit numbers. Say we have 37 and 74. Now, 37 plus 74 traditionally when small children add this, they write it like this and they perform the addition starting from the right side and coming on to the left side. Now, at the basic level, children have to be taught that they have to make use of round figures and using the round figures they can calculate this within their mind only without the use of pen and paper. Say, I'll break this down into 30, 7, 74. Now the problem becomes much much easier to calculate. We can very easily tell that 30 and 70 is 100 and 7 plus 4 is 11 so the answer is 111. Every step which I have written on board takes place in mind and whenever you see these type of two, two digit numbers you can actually add them within a fraction of a second. I will give one more example say we have 48 and 36. Now 48, 36, 70, 14, 84. So you see these steps are just written on the board to demonstrate the method. It is actually a part of your mental process, the thinking, the kind of step you tell your mind to carry out when you see two digit numbers. Say one more example, say 94 and 73, so 90, 70, 4, 3, 90, 70, 4, 3, 9 plus 7 is 16 and 7, 167. So you don't need to write any kind of calculations, use pen or paper or spare too much time in mental addition. You need to learn this from basic level to be efficient in calculations when you study in class 10th, 11th, 12th and so on because in those papers if you are spending time on additions and subtraction then you will not be able to solve your entire paper within the stipulated time. And those are the children who are facing problems when they come out of the examination hall they say that the paper was too lengthy it involved a lot of calculations so if you are able to do these calculations in mind obviously you will save a lot of time another small step for mental addition is when you are adding numbers don't add the numbers as it is say suppose we have 43 plus 19 adding 19 altogether is difficult but adding 20 is easier. So what you do is 43 
plus 20 and then reduce by 1. So this is actually 63 minus 1, 62. So your answer is 62. You have not actually added the numbers. You have added a round figure which was very near to this number 19. It can be the other way round also. See we have 39 plus 94. Now 39 is very near to 40. Then subtract 1. So 134 minus 1, 133. This is how the mental process of addition goes in, goes on in our mind. So if you think like this, calculations will be far more easier. So one more example, say 129 plus so 39. So 129 plus 40. So 169 minus 1, 168. And you will not be making mistakes also. A lot of problems will be solved if you think of calculations in this way. And this rule which is applying to 19, 39, 29 and so on can be extrapolated to other numbers also. Say we have 53 plus 28. Now 28 is close to 30 but 2 less than 30. So 53 becomes 83. I have increased it by 30 and now reduce it by 2. Your answer is 81. And this part of the calculation takes place in mind. It doesn't have to be written on any kind of paper or with any aid. Similar calculations can be done using say 17, 27, 37 also. Say we have 46 plus 37. Now 46. Now I know that this is 37 which is close to 40. So I increase this by 40, 46 plus 40 is 86 and I reduce 3 because 37 is 3 less than 40. So your simple answer is 83. No addition done, no first created and you have arrived at the right answer. Now these tricks can be used in the similar manner in case of multiplications also. And while in multiplications you use mental additions. So if you use mental additions in pursuing your calculations of multiplications then multiplication also becomes easier. Now we are dealing with subtraction also. Now see suppose we have to subtract 9 from 48. Subtracting 9 is difficult but subtracting 10 is very easy. So you don't subtract 9. Tell children that whenever you are subtracting 9, 19, 29 then you have to subtract 10, 20, 30 and so on and add 1 because we are asked to subtract 9 and we are subtracting 10 so we have to increase the quantity by 1 so 48 becomes 38 and add 1, 39 so this is the result of subtracting 48 and 9 now similarly you can have say 123 minus 18 now 18 is very close to 20 but 2 less than 20 so what I do is I will reduce this by 20 not by 18 so if you re reduce 123 by 20 it will become 103 but you have reduced 20 so you got to add to 105 see it becomes so easier it becomes so convenient numbers are fun when they are handled properly. So parents who are dealing with very small children at home whenever they are taking them to market or telling them about very basic things the day to day life, day to day application of these small concepts then they have to tell them that these calculations are to be done in a different manner while they are doing it in mind. But when they are learning this in traditional classroom, then they, they can use those traditional methods also. So keep learning, keep enjoying and share and subscribe the video if you like it.